Plug it in and get ready to rock. Sit your ass down with the hands of the clock. The renegade pineapple so sublime. Like, comment, subscribe. It's Yeah. Hello and welcome to the fresh slice. I may be being slightly more dramatic than is necessary for this game, but it's got dramatic intro music. This is Zombie Society Dead Detective, a point and clicky style game. It's, you know, it's a puzzly detective game, which I'm a huge fan of, so I thought I'd check it out. And obviously this is the fresh slice where I play games that have either just come out or are sort of still in development, and this game is currently on a Kickstarter to have the rest of the series made. So this was a standalone made a little while ago, but now they're going to do it into a full series, which is cool. So go and check that out. On Kickstarter, if this interests you, let's take a look. Yeah, I might be a bit too dramatic. For brain's sake, detective, couldn't you just be a tad less noisy when you wake up? You almost made me spill my cup. Uh, sorry, Mr. Guspar, I can't help it. Hat, obviously. First step. Oh, I love that he walks like a zombie. That's such class. Do, 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 do. He's so zombie walking. I like that. That's a good touch for a start. Let's take a look at this hole. This is no time to rest in peace. Let's have a talk to Guspar. Good morning, Mr. Guspar. Oh, good morning, Detective Mara. No, cool. A zombie out of here. Zombie society, dead detective. Haha. <laughs> I like it. I'm liking the uh, art style of this. I like that it looks like uh, Tales of Monkey Island and stuff like that. And. Uh, one of my favourites, the original Sam and Max game as well. I like this is sort of a George A. Romero poster type situation going on here. I hope this money will compensate you for your trouble, young man. Hey, did you just assume you're older than me because I died young? I've been selling newspapers for more than a century, what about you, huh? Oh my, I offer my apologies, I'm still new to this. You'd better learn to respect your elders, young man. Oh dear me. Quite interesting, they've actually got like, zombie lore and genuinely like, a plays on zombie things from some of what I've seen of this before I've started obviously that bit just then. His name's Old Nuck. Oh, hey there, Ma. Who's the guy that just left? Ah, did you see? Did you see that? Kids these days, no respect. Well, at least he gave me a generous tip. Anyway, he said he had a problem. He was told to look for a private detective who resides in this graveyard. That'd be me. So I gave him the address of your office. How's work? Don't you ever get tired of selling newspapers? Now I like it, because I get to yell at people. We should all do what we love. Have a good day, old pal. See ya, ma. Ghoul over that way. Who fans the office? Um, is this the office of Private Detective Ma? Ah, oh, yes, that's me. Please, come in and have a seat. Let's start with a simple question, shall we? Why did you come to me instead of the police? This is a fair question. I'll tell you everything. To make a long story short, I've been robbed, Detective. But when I went to the police, the Commissioner said this affair was of no concern to them. He's the one who advised me to hire you, as a matter of fact. Are you really as good as they say? 
do a, de a demonstration. I've been writing notes since the, the moment I, you entered the room, and I think I've collected enough evidence to make a few educated deductions. These are your notes. On the left page, you'll find the clues you have collected. Click on two or more clues to combine them to form a deduction. Yo, boy. Me. Is that me? Nobody uh, wasn't able to tell how old Nock really is. He's a new zombie. Ah, oh, they're not linked. He's an old man. I follow my first deduction. Let's use it. Uh, let's make a second one. Is his name Mr. Mitsk? That's hard to say. Mr. Mitsk gave a generous tip to old Nuck, moreover. He's willing to pay a private detective in order to solve his problem. From these facts, I can in t infer that. He's, yeah, he's, he's got the money. Once you choose an option, the question mark will turn into an exclamation point. You can always choose the other option again. So you can change what you think it was. So, money seems to be no problem, but maybe he's just desperate. But giving a big tip to the newspaper would be unnecessary, so he probably just has lots of money. If he was desperate, he wouldn't have given him loads of money just to find where I was. That would be pointless. Mr. Miss claims the police won't investigate his case. The sole explanation is the crime is of small importance to the police, or the police already have their hands full and can't help. Small important? Probably that one. Yeah, I've come to my first plausible conclusion. He's not a customer, you know, he died recently. Not important to the police. I'm gonna go with that. He's just freaking out because he's a new zombie man. From what I've observed, I can safely infer that you were robbed of, of something with no value whatsoever, but it's something that holds a certain sentimental value to you nonetheless. I'll be blessed, you're right, on the mark. How could you know? A simple deduction. It is obvious this is not about money, as you're generous with your tips, and you're willing to hire a detective. There's also the fact that the police won't help you. This confirms my theory that nothing of value was stolen. It sounds so simple when you put it like that, but how could you know about the sentimental value? Because it's fairly evident that you died recently. You still use a walking stick even though you don't need it. Old habits are awfully hard to kill. And it's not unusual for recently dead zombies to get attached to objects to remind them of their past life. Objects like that dusty old hat, perhaps? Eh, yeah, you're, that's right, you got me. I'm astonished. You're even better than what they said. I need your help. Name the price and I'll pay. I'll take all the money. I am the owner of a little restaurant called Brain for Food. Come to visit if you're interested, and I'll tell you more. So he's a new zombie, but he's already set up a restaurant. That's not weird. With a pun as the name. Unless he had that one loaded during live as well. Finally, that's the first client in weeks. So I'm, I'm digging the... Uh, <laughs> I'm still digging the walk more than everything in the world. But I'm liking the uh, notebook system. I've... I think that's quite clever. I don't think I've seen something like that. I've seen combining items, but having the evidence and sort of interpreting things more than just combining them. I think that's quite interesting. I don't think I've really seen that before. Right, drawer. Is there anything in the drawer that's useful? Open that up. Nothing of use in there. The other one? Oh, my press pass. From back when I used to work as a journalist for the... I almost forgot I still had this. It's expired, of course, but it could always come in handy. Trick my way into stuff with a press pass. So that's bread food, that's the graveyard, and that's it. So they will sleep in the graveyard, that's like his flat. He just lives in the graveyard, I'm guessing. Let's go to the restaurant. Hey, it's a guy with a bigger mustache. 
Hello, I'm Detective Ma. You work here? That I do. The cleaning, I do. I regret doing that voice instantly because it's very similar to the other voice. <laughs> You're instigating the robbery, aren't you? I'll be glad to help. That I'll be. I haven't got any notes. I'm not going to consult my notes just yet. Let's write down about this place. A smashed window! Brain for food. Well, that's an obvious name for a restaurant. That window is broken. Our oh, regulars like it that way. That, write that down. Broken window. Somebody's broken it in the first place. You gotta just say, it loads it that way. Oh, there's an alley around the back as well. Shall I look out the back before I, I'm gonna look around the back before I go in. Catch people unawares and find some shifty shit. Why should I search that trash can? Uh, for evidence, detective. Nothing's weird about that window. It's broken. Why are broken windows so important? Is everyone, or maybe I'm just not used to the zombie world. Maybe everyone's got broken windows. Is there a man in this manhole? Who left that manhole open like that? Someone could get really hurt. Somebody has escaped down that manhole. That wall is too high for me to go past it. Person who robbed something came out of this window, went down that manhole probably. Maybe they stashed something in these trash cans. Do your job. Oh, detective, I see you've decided to accept the job. I'm afraid I'm still gonna ask you a few things before I accept anything, Mr. Mitsk. That certainly goes without saying. I'll tell you everything I know. I'm just, I'm just gonna poke around in your belongings, voice. That's the restaurant's menu. There's an empty space at the bottom, just as big as a card of some sort. Is that a cerveza? No, I don't drink while I'm on the case. Not anymore. Not anymore. Well then, now I'll ask you a few questions. Please be sincere and specific. What did the thief steal exactly? All the frozen brains in my fridge are missing, but... Uh, though bothersome, that is certainly not my main concern. The thief stole my ID card, Detective Ma. Your ID card? That's right. For when I was still alive, it's the only memory I've got of that time, and I'm very attached to it. So much so that I left it on. Oh, it was that. That was what was there. Cause it said room for a card in this thing. So much so that I left it on display on the menu. Why would someone want to steal something like that? Do you suspect anyone, even remotely? Like that guy outside? I don't trust him, his moustache is too big. Do you know the woman named Helik, Detective? You mean the famous philanthropist and collector? Everybody knows her. She regularly ends up at the front page of the local newspapers. That's right. I can't say more than this. Well, she wanted to buy my ID card. For her collection, she said. She offered quite a sum. A few days later, the robbery occurred. I, st I still blame the moustache guy. I don't know, it's just, it's too big a moustache. Are there any witnesses? Only my night watchman, Gavin. Gavin. I'm gonna, that's, clearly that's Gavin. Gavin. It's just zombie stuff. Gavin. He's clearly, he's currently inside the kitchen. Thank you, Mr. Mitsk. I'll take the case. I'll contact you again later. Thank you, Detective. I wish you luck. I, I wish I could zombie slightly quicker. That is my only my only downside to this game so far. Everything else, pretty spot on. But I wish I could zombie over the screen a little bit quicker. For the last time, Gavin. I can't let you have this brain. It's Mr. Mitsk lunch. But I want brain. Wait a second. Who in heaven are you? Oh, I'm Detective Ma. Uh, oh, he's, he's, he's gonna steal it. Watch that head. And I'm investigating the recent robbery. I'm looking for the night watchman. You're in luck then. This guy over here, Gavard. He's the night watchman you want. My name's... By the way, I'm the chef. Hello, I've got other pieces. Okay then. 
Now I'll ask you a few questions if you don't mind. Mr. Mix said you were there when the robbery took place. What happened exactly? It all happened very fast. The thief sneaks up on me from behind. I felt a zap and then I was out cold. A zap. You were probably hit with a taser. Hmm. So the thief was armed and prepared. When I came to, I heard some noises coming from the kitchen, so I went to have a look, and I saw the thief escape from the window. He was certainly after the brains in the fridge. I need to take this brain as evidence. And your hat. Because I like the hat. Would you be able to recognize the thief if you were to see him again? I only saw a glimpse of him, but I have good memory. He was thin with black, curly hair. Very well. That's all for now. I'll have a look around. It does look rather tasty. Think I better take it. Strange mark in wall. There is a strange mark in wall. That's just from the fridge opening, isn't it? There's a weird mark on the wall right below the window. It's shaped like the sole of a shoe. See, somebody think about that window. I called this. The thief stepped here and to gain the momentum to reach the window. The fridge is completely empty. The horror! It was full of the paper boxes of frozen brains until up until yesterday. It was full, huh? Um, Sraga Sinja Sanja Sanjigra Do this proper point and click style and just click on everything. Did you know that the thief stole Mr. Mist's ID card too? Uh I I certainly didn't know that. And did you know that Halik could offer a big sum of money for it? Uh no. No, ab absolutely not. Anyway, that stupid card doesn't matter. The real problem is the thief stole our brains. This restaurant is everything I have. I don't know what I'm doing if it ends up going bankrupt because of this. Yeah. A likely story. So you're a detective, huh? I've always wanted to see it while in action. I, I can't consult him. He has got a magnificent quiff. Look at that. Majestic. I'm just gonna leave the fridge door open. Bye. Oh, he's coming with me. <laughs> Wait a second, are you following me? Please, can I help you? The thief robbed Mr. Mitz right under my nose and I feel really guilty. Um. Um. Cow. Cow then. I'm gonna have to be more decisive of your voice now, though. Uh, okay, fine. Thank you, boss. You won't regret it. I already do. Don't call me boss. So I think, boss. I gotta make him have that dope voice. Just see, just feels right. I mean, good, he doesn't actually follow me everywhere. He just comes into the room and stands there. Which is probably better. Because I, because I anything about you, you don't know that your chef enjoys working for you. Do you remember this? Yeah. The cook was there when Halik came to visit you to offer to buy her your ID card. Why, yes. Now that I think about it, he was there with me. He also advised me to refuse her offer. Hmm. 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 Let's talk to Super Mario again. What do you know about the robbery? I can't remember what voice he had. I don't know nothing. That's what I, that I know. I know nothing that I know. I've heard that someone stole Mr. Mitz ID card, but for what reason? Who knows? I don't. Isn't there anything else that comes to your mind? Sometimes I wonder what's the sense of our existence. That I do. Where do we go? Why? Or which brave will we eat for dinner? That was unnecessarily deep and completely useless. What do you know about Snarr, the cook? I can tell you he's a, he's a blessed good cook, that I can. He had his own restaurant a few years ago, but then it all went south and he lost everything that he did. Mr. Metzger, I think nobody else would, I bet Sang, ah, 
He's very grateful for that. I bet he is. Or he wants to have his own restaurant again because he hates him. So he stole that ID card to sell it. Or is that just what I'm supposed to think? Window. So, so the thief escaped through that window. Check the bins. Ah, yeah, let's check them. Nothing useful here. Isn't, isn't that a brain? What the heaven? Um, that brain's rotten. It's been there for days. Oh, um, yeah, I know that. It's still kind of weird. Check the other one. Nothing useful here. Manhole. The manhole is open. The thief must have left the area through the sewers. Shouldn't we go after him then? Inside the sewers, no way. We get lost in no time. Not even the thief could climb that wall. Hmm, so we're not going further down there. Let's go back. Talk to him about their relationship. Hmm. He's gotta eat that brain. He's got a problem. Yeah. Does not know anything about their relationship? So, where else can I go? Looks in the alley. I've kind of done all that for now. Ah, here. Go to Helix. Hello, I'd like to speak to Miss Helix. No can do, bub. Miss Link is very busy at the moment. She won't accept visitors today. Busy doing what? I'm not allowed to say. Are you a bit small to work as a security guard? I'm the perfect height to punch you straight in the nuts, bub. Touche. I really need to speak to Halik. It's... Miss Halik to you, bub. And as I told you, she has no time for like for no, for nobody like you. Fan. Whatever, bastard. What's so special about the about this Halik chick anyway? Uh -huh. Miss Halik made a name for herself as a brain on the Joe and the zombie invasion. Oh, I was on it too. Those were good times. When Zombie Society was established, she formed this foundation the collector studied of remnants of the brain civilizations. Got any items I could use? Can I just pull a gun on him? Oh, I can use my press pass to get him. Perhaps I didn't mention that I'm a journalist from the car. I like to interview Miss Leek. Oh, really? About what? Yes, I'm writing an article about the shampoo she uses for her fabulous hair, her favorite kind of food, the last car she bought, the story of her life after death, it's a biography, her initiative concerning charity for the graveless zombies, why she chose a creepy logo. I'm gonna go with one of these two. I know this one sounds positive for her, so I think that's gonna help again. Charity, you got the wrong. Oh, she doesn't do charity. Fine. Miss Alik prefers to write their own biography. She already wrote four. I try all of them. How'd you do anything? Oh, I can combine stuff now. All the brains and the window. Surely that's a connection because how do they manage to take all the brains out of the window with them? The missing brains were too many to be stolen by one man. It's more probable that somebody ate them all. Yes, I concur. Those two. So, he has the highest regard for Mr. Mitsk, as he saved him from poverty, and he loves working at the restaurant. See, I respect Mitsk deeply, and he loves his job at the restaurant. What could I assume from this? Could like say I would have no problem finding another job. Um. That's how I felt before, but when you put it like that, it makes me think he's just very attached to his job. 
He, he couldn't easily find a job anywhere else because otherwise he wouldn't have had to have been saved from poverty. Those guys go together. He's very hungry and he was on the night shift. So he can't have eaten all those brains because he wouldn't be so hungry unless he's just like ridiculously constantly hungry. Uh, it's a ravenous appetite. When he chased the thief away, he had the perfect chance to eat all those brains and blame the robber. He, I think he didn't eat them because the thief beat him to it. Right, now I've got those things, I suppose I should go back and talk to them about those. Oh, I have a magnifying glass. Look, this is... Oh, that just gives you hints as to what you can look at. Alright, so at least I can find where everything is on one screen. Oh, and he can do—he can give me hints as well. That's like a classic partnered thing of this, like in Sam and Max. If you ask Max, if you click on Max and ask him about something, he'll say something that seems like it's nothing to do with what's going on, but can sometimes be sort of a hint as to what you need to do next. Um, I do kind of need a hint, to be honest, at this point. Yeah, this is crime. This is a cynical I better have a look around. I have. I Nothing left to do here. Let's go something. Else. Go somewhere else. So he's saying there's nothing else to do on these three screens, but in the kitchen says. We should go. Doesn't say we should go somewhere else. Says, well, this is the scene of the crime. So maybe I've missed something in the kitchen. So I'm obviously missing something here still. Oh. How high up it is. Is that everything? That must be everything. Yeah, nothing else to do here. Right, so that was the one thing I missed. So it's good that you can kind of get. He's not really a hint. It's more just a confirmation that you're good, you're done here, I found everything. That's what, kind of what you need sometimes in this kind of game. You need to know that you're not just clicking on things for no apparent reason, so you're not going around in circles. Well prepared, Agile. The thief was very agile and well equipped. I think it's safe to assume we're dealing with a pro. You might be right about that. You might be right. But so what? That's not really much to go on, boss. Maybe not for us, but I know just the guy. Hey there, ah. Let me introduce you to my friend here, the owner of the bar, The Drinking Dead. Hey. I like to call him The Talking Dead, as he often works as my secret informer. Also, he does those little extra shows after The Walking Dead. That's Chris Hardwick. This That's Chris Hardwick with a wig on. Also, he's dead now. I won't be your secret informer for long if you keep calling me that. I need your help to identify a certain thief. You'll have to be more specific than that. Describe his modus operandi. Do you know if he had some kind of weapon with him? Uh, yeah, he hit, he hit him with a taser. Well, he, there was a zap. It wasn't necessarily a taser. He heard a zap. Could have been anything. Okay. How did he escape? Did he leave on a trace? I think he went down the manhole. Okay, that narrows the town a bit. Anything else you notice? Any peculiar thing? I don't know anything else, not to be said. He was probably very hungry because he robbed a restaurant. I know for sure he's very agile, yeah. Okay, let me think. Yes. Yes, there is someone that fits this description. There's a scumbag who's known as Sewers. Orc. Like, awkward. Orc! <laughs> I think that's the guy you're looking for. I've heard he works for hire. I even have his phone number. Thanks, Toggy. This is more than I could hope for. Glad I could be of help. 
So, this is your office, uh, boss. Very classy, I like it. Very well, let's try the number the talk he gave us. Who's this? Oh, he really answered. I have a little job for you. Zero risks, high reward. You do, huh? Let's say I'm interested. They may be at the drinking dead in half an hour. The trap is set. Are we going to arrest him? Not yet. We aren't even sure he's the culprit. We need solid proof. Where the brains is this guy? I'm tired of waiting. Boss, that's him. I recognize him. That guy's the thief. This is enough. If he doesn't come here, Zeke and I'm out of here. Oh, is he supposed to be French? Is that why there's so many Zeds? In a second. Is that French? I don't know. Bah! Bah! Come on, God! Quickly, let's follow him without being seen. Sure thing, boss. Perfect. We followed him to his house. His house? You mean he lives here? Doesn't he have a grave? This is called the poor neighborhood for a reason. The zombies who reside here can't if even afford to hold a grave. Wow, so where do they rest? In their beds? The horror! I know, let's have a look around. Step one, bins. Always. Oh! Don't not touch on a knock! Not to... <laughs> not to a trash can, they didn't. You're funny. I like you. By that, I mean I despise you. So, uh, you live here? Yeah, so what? Uh, it's comfy, even though it's uncomfortable. So we could say your sewers... Sewers Orcs neighbor... Oh, is that your surname? Sewers Orcs. Sewers Orcs neighbors. Wait, which is it? Is it comfy, or...? Yeah, you could say that. I'm like that guy, and that means... I like that guy, and that means I hate him. I see. Could I ask a few questions about him? Hey, I'm the rat. Or probably I am, but my lips are sealed. I'm gonna ask you anyway. Oh, get fucked. And who in the brain are you? You smell like a cop. Get lost. I think I'll have to try another approach. The window! There's another approach. Now. Oh. Can I get Gavin to knock on the door because he doesn't look like a cop? Um. So, the only place I can think of to go now, because I've double checked here, 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 here. I'm gonna go back to the graveyard and see if one of them can help me, like the newspaper kid or the guy inside. Hopefully one of them has something actually useful to tell me. Oh hey there, Mark. So what's the, that seems like a sensible thing. That's literally what I need to know. I need some news, man. Give me that news. Give me that good news. So what's the news? Buy a newspaper, you'll know. Can I have a newspaper? Can I have a newspaper? Can I have one coin? Hmm, I remember having some money with me yesterday, but where did I put it? Move the cursor over the top of the screen, then select the suitcase to open you. Oh, this is part of a tutorial. I was supposed to buy one at the beginning. I don't have any money in here. I have a gun. Will the gun solve my problems? There's no money in here. Hat. Ah! It's in his hat! Ah! Just as I thought I'd hidden a few... I hidden two neurons in the lining of that hat. Coins! Here you go, Neuro. One for you. And here's your paper. Let's read the paper. Qua! I used to work for Qua. 
A long interview with the Minister of Substances. Everything is fine as I always say. Brains, 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 brains! Fun, 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 fun! We just want to talk about brains. More pay is known. Only a few days left before the grand opening of the Living Brain Museum. Oh, sponsored by the Halik Foundation. So that's obviously important. Lur's Farm. It wins the prize for the most succulent brain raised last year. So, let's go back to talk to that security guard, see if I can get an interview about that. Because it's already in a newspaper, so it's obviously newsworthy. Hey, what's up? Perhaps I didn't mention I was a journalist. Journalist? I was a journalist. Oh, really? You were a journalist? About what? Yes, I'm writing an article about. Is it on there now? My favourite kind of food. Nice car she bought. Opening of a new museum is now on there. Hmm. It is true, Miss Halik will open a new museum. But she can't suddenly use it. And she could certainly use any kind of publicity. Fine, I'll tell her about you. Go to the waiting room. Thank you, sir. Oh, damn. Well, hello there. As I said, there's a below there. Come in, come in. I'll be back to you in a few minutes. Her voice doesn't really match up with how she looks. <laughs> I apologize for the lack of chairs re relocating. Wait a second, you're no journalists. Of course we're journalists. Oh, drop the act already. I know a journalist when I see one. What well, gave it away? Maybe you could have fooled me. But the fat one is too unrefined and unprofessional. The boss is fine the way he is. I'm positive she's talking about you. Me? I'm all skin and bones. Who are you, really? I'm Private Detective Ma, Miss Salik. And this is my temporary partner, Gran. I'd like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay with you. Well, I'm a busy woman, but since you're already here... Oh, I've got, I've got about ten options to click on at the moment. Is it true you offered a big sum of money to buy Mr. Mitt's ID card? Yes, it's true. I think it would, it would enrich my museum's collection. That card is part of a set, you know. Why do you ask? The card has been stolen recently. Oh, I see. That makes me a suspect, am I correct? But let me make another assumption. I believe Mr. Mitz didn't tell you he was inclined to accept the offer, did he? Of course he didn't. Oh, so he was actually going to take it, which might actually be more of a reason for the guy that liked him to take it again, because it would stop him from selling the restaurant and splitting them up. Who else was present when you gave your offer to Mr. Mitsk? I personally went to his restaurant to speak with him. If I remember correctly, his chef was there at the time too. He's a liar! He's a motherfucking liar! Book him, Dano. So he's a liar. That's important. Hmm. So I denies it, but both of the, both Mr. Skat and Halik confirm he was present at their meeting. When he leak offered to buy Mr. Mitt's ID card. <clears throat> he knows about it. He knows about it. He's just a liar. I got to go there, surely. Mrs. Crow really going to accept the offer. So Haleek offered a big sum of money to buy Mr. Mitt's ID card. And Mitz was actually gonna more than willing to accept. That means Halik had no motive to steal Mr. Mitz's ID card. Halik changed her mind and didn't want to spend all that money. She seems like she's entirely fucking rich, so she didn't really have a reason to steal it. I'm guessing. Is it true that you were inclined to accept Halik's offer? 
I presume you talked to her, Leek. Yes, I admit it. I, I admitted this information because I didn't want you to come up with funny ideas. The only reason I'm looking for your card is to return it to you, Mr. Mitz, come an honest zombie. I agree on that one, too. Thank you both. Right. So, the only thing I think there is left to do is to actually confront the guy, uh, the guy in the blue tracksuit, sewers or whatever it was called, sewers orcs, about all of this. Because the only way you can find information about who hired him and stuff like that. But you can't get in because we look like a cop, and this guy won't talk. But surely, the one thing he could use is what we now have, which is money. So if I give him a coin, maybe he'll start answering some stuff. What do you say? Would you like to have this neuro? Oh, gimme, gimme! Well now, are your lips still sealed? No, no, not that much. There we go, I can actually get some motherfucking answers out of this guy. Yesterday, half an hour before midnight, someone robbed the restaurant. What do you know about that? I know that all comes home exactly at midnight, just in time for the curfew. Hmm. What can you tell me about Sewer's Hawks? He's a friend, a real scumbag, a criminal. I really like him, and that means I'd put a knife through his head. This guy's crazy. Alright, let's... Because those obviously go together, so let's see what that brings us to. Sewer's Orcs is hiding Mr. Mitz's card inside his house. If my deductions are correct, and I think they are, Sewer's Orcs... Oh, typo there. AKW instead of Orc. Sewer's Orcs is, is still hiding Mr. Mitz's ID card inside his house. But the only way to confirm that is if I can enter his house without being seen. Window. Climbing through the window. How do I get in? I've passed him literally everything, and all I've got is that deduction. So now I know that it's inside his house. So there must be something else to do here. Oh, it's not just a hint, there's another option. How you going with. Oh. Keep him occupied. Oh, so you can distract him for me while I go in there. So he's useful. Finally. Hey, Gavin. Could you keep the thief occupied for a while? Occupied? How? I don't know. Come up with something. No. Okay. I guess I can try. I'm distracted with my lovely hair. Oh, I'm selling these fine leather jackets. You don't have a leather jacket with you. Um, yes, I have. It's just that they're invisible. Invisible leather jackets. Yep, they're all the rage these days. But invisible, how? Well, that goes too quick to read. Can I go in the window now? It's now or never. Alright, I'm in. Let's have a look around for Mr. Mitz's ID card. It should be somewhere in this room. What a lovely vase. What a nice statue. Is that how angels look? <laughs> this is this satanic statue here. Let's look at this gong. Oh, I should probably not take the rope off the gong because that's probably uh, going to get me caught. Let's go across this way. Is there anything over here? No? No. Well, that is on. I guess it's room can get very dark even during the day. Well, that's the only thing left. It's a gong of some sort. I wonder where he stole that. I from the wall by that rope. Why is that important? Where else is there to look? Ah, carpet. Just a carpet, but wait a second. What? Oh, move the carpet. Is there something underneath? Why? Isn't that a hidden hatch? The hatch has a lock, and I don't have the keys. But I have a gun, sir. Kapow. It could be because I'm itching to use my gun, but I see no other choice. 
Surely that would get his attention. What the brain? Oh. Come and back me up, man. I suppose I have a gun. That's good enough. The man on the picture looks looks a lot like Mr. Mitsk. I guess I found his card, all right. There are also two packs of frozen brains inside the hatch. What the heaven are you doing inside my house? Yikes. Oh, shit. Watch out, boss. You've messed up. You've messed with the wrong zombie. I let you know that I was hit the mark with my 60th try. No way, you're bluffing. <laughs> You'll see. First, I'll render you unconscious, then, I'll rip your legs off. Use the gun. Shoot the gun. I've got this one figured out already. Well, bang. Ah, if they pulled a few bullets to make me unconscious. Shoot the rope off the gong so that it falls, then throw that in his face, or use it as a shield. Hey, stop that! I like that gong! It's just a gong of some sort. I wonder where he stole that. I'm gonna shoot it again. Ah, I took the light out. I don't really see how that helped, but okay. Shit it again? Oh, it just hits the same thing now. Can you do anything to help me? Can you close the window? Gavin, can you close the window? Sure thing, boss. Ah. Now, Gavin, help me out. I'm coming, boss. Ouch! Ouch! How could you be so strong? I eat a lot. Good job, Kevin. Hold him down while I call the police. I humbly thank you for achieving my car, Detective Miller. So, what happened to the thief? He's in jail. The police found much more stolen goods in his house than just your ID card, Mr. Mitsk. Turns out he was a wanted criminal. But why would he steal my card in the first place. And why did he steal my brains, too? I'll check my notes until I come up with a theory about that. I'll let you know then. You found all the, sorry, you found all the clues. Goodbye, them in your notes. So the, I've done that also. Just need to interpret these couple of bits. I found a pack of frozen brains at Orc's house. It was very similar to the ones that were stolen from Mr. Mitsk restaurant. Is it proof? Well, he also came here to do that, so it's pretty much proof. And this one. Og didn't have any real use for Mr. Mitsk ID card. So what was the real motive? Why did he rob the restaurant? He was hired to do it. It's them together. Susan Orcs were hired... Susan Orc was hired by... Yeah, the cook. Confirm. My investigation is still missing a piece. Suez Hawk stole the ID card, but who ate the brains? Was it him or someone else? There we go. So I changed that one to Gavin having eaten them, and this one to anybody could have bought those from the supermarket. So that was just a coincidence, and it was actually just Gavin who stole all of them. So Gavin ate the missing brains. But he was hired by the cook to steal just the ID card. That's just a coincidental thing that happened on the same night. Well then, it looks like I've, I've found solution. Time to end this case. Let's talk with Mr. Mitsk. I want to thank you once again for achieving my important ID card, Detective. But why did the thief steal it? What use could he possibly have for it? Have you come up with an answer? Yes, Mr. Misk, I think I have. It is evident the thief has no use for your ID card. He was hired to steal it. Oh, but by whom? By your chef. Say, ah! What? 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 How did you? I mean, why? Why would you do... Why would I do that? You respect Mr. Misk, but you like your job here even more. When you heard that Misk was going to sell his card for a small fortune. You feared he would close the restaurant and retire, so you decide, decided to dispose of the card. 
Aye, aye. Is what he says true, Sidney? Ah. I, I would have returned it eventually, and I specifically told him not to touch the brains. And so you confess? I'm so disappointed in you, Sidney. Ah. I'll deal with you later. But I'd like to know, Detective, how could he steal all of those packs of frozen brains? The thief escaped from the... From the the thief escaped from the window in the kitchen, so he couldn't possibly have stolen all those brains. There were too many to, to carry. The only explanation is that he was so hungry, he ate them right there, right then. Right then, right there, the other way around, whatever. He ate them frozen? What a frightening appetite. Do I sell him out? I feel like I have to be honest. But at the same time, I like my quiffy do partner in crime. Well, partner in solving crime. Send him out, he's gonna come and work for me anyway. Surely. But sewers all didn't eat the brains. Granted. Uh oh. What? 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 I can't really say that is that unexpected. But, Gavin, I trusted you completely. I'm really sorry, Mr. Minsk. I saw the thief in front of the fridge and I chased him away, but then I couldn't resist. You're putting me in a difficult position. You've always been a good worker, but I simply can't allow such things happening in my restaurant. I'm not going to press any charges, but you're fired. I... I understand. Now... Now that that's out of the way, thank you again, Detective. You've suddenly earned your fee. Wait, wait, wait. What? Why are you still following me? The thing is, I've come to realize that a zombie who loves brains as much as I do isn't really suited to work at a restaurant. That's a no-brainer. So I thought we could make... So I thought we make a pretty good team. I could work for you instead, as your partner. <laughs> what? No-brainer way. Okay. Fine. See you at my office tomorrow morning. Nine o'clock sharp. If you're late, you're fired. Thank you, boss. Thank you. I promise you won't regret it. Can we make it half past nine instead? Yay. Deductions. My final score six out of seven, so I did something slightly wrong, but I got all my deductions correct. I'm curious as to what I did wrong, though. Is it because I didn't get them first time? I don't know. Oh, my voice has gone a little bit. My voice just <laughs> genuinely broke a little bit then from doing the voices in this. Um, yeah, I wonder if it's because I didn't do them first time. It never really explained how the score point system worked. But either way, that was really fun. I really enjoyed this. It is a lot like uh, a lot of games I like to play, point and click puzzle games. Uh, but it's a good version of it. It's quite charming in the setup. And I like how the zombie stuff is part of the lore and part of the story it's not just felt like oh we just made it zombies so that it was interesting to look at it was like part of the narrative was that it was all zombie stuff i liked it a lot um, and obviously this is on kickstarter so go look for it on kickstarter and back it i'm going to after uh, i've finished editing this i'll probably go and do that um hopefully they make the whole series i'd quite like to play more of these and if they do end up doing that and you liked this video, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll play them when they will come out. I'm sure they'll come out eventually even if the Kickstarter is unsuccessful. I'm sure they'll want to make it anyway. Um, but that's it for this video. This was Zombie Society Dead Detective. It was really rather charming, wasn't it? So uh, have a look into it. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye. Let's wipe this on a cake for everyone to eat. Essentially, it's vomit. Let's have some nice vomit and then cake. put it on top. Boom! Cake accomplished.